Today on RVN World News, we examine the growing mutant menace. It's a concern of worldwide proportions. This scene took place in Russia two weeks ago as a young mutant stood in defiance of the military. And in the Far East, the authorities attempted to quell an uprising at a mutant camp, but they had little success. We interrupt this newscast with a breaking story. A young woman named Allison Kressmere was identified as a mutant. The Genetic Research and Security Organization is now responding to that report, but a mob has formed and tempers are flaring. Help! Somebody help me! Mom! Mom! I'm not a mutant! I, I swear I'm not! Mom! Grab the girl and get out of here! Mind if I cut in? Stop! Stop! Stop fighting! Stop it right now! Stop! Is all this happening to me? Allison, it's okay. Things were fine until last week. I got mad at my little brother and suddenly the ground started to shake. I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to admit it. Your powers are becoming active, which... Things have only gotten worse. That lava in the street? I made it happen. I'm becoming a mutant. There's nothing wrong with... And that woman? She was gonna make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Any time! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men. With the aid of Cerebro, I've learned the Brotherhood is en route to Alaska. It appears their destination is the facility for the high-frequency active auroral research program, also known simply as HARP. What would the Brotherhood want at HARP? All that facility does is study the ionosphere. That, Cyclops, is what you must discover. The Brotherhood has become extremely active since their attack on Allison, which can only mean something sinister is in the offing. And whatever their plan, we must thwart it before they can set back the cause of human-mutant relations. The Harp facility, eh? This will be an excellent opportunity to test the new cloaking device I've installed on the X-Jet. It should render us completely undetectable to radar. Excellent, Beast. You have your mission, X-Men. Godspeed. Not at all, my child. Scott? Professor, I haven't seen energy readings like this since... The Phoenix. We have a potential emergency. I received this brief transmission from Gambit a short time ago. Strange voodoo down here. Morlocks are gathered. And that's no lie. Now they're coming for me. 
Professor, the Morlocks are after Rami. We gotta go save him. I agree, Rogue. We must proceed with caution. Who are the Morlocks? They're a tribe of mutants who have isolated themselves from the general mutant populace. They're sewer dwellers, having built an entire secret society beneath the streets of Manhattan. Yes, and in doing so, they have become extremely hostile towards outsiders. I want a team to enter the sewers as quietly as possible and render aid to Gambit should he require it. Please keep contact with the Morlocks to a minimum. <laughs> a Cajun can't stay out of trouble, can he? That's a trait you two share in abundance. <laughs> you get funnier by the day, Furball, you know that? You have your mission, X-Men. Be on your way, there's no time to waste. X-Men, I apologize for the telepathic intrusion, but from data gained at the Harp facility, I believe we've determined where the Brotherhood will strike next. Is this the location Toad told us Mystique was so interested in? Yes, Scott. And that location is the USS Arbiter. Ain't that the new submersible aircraft carrier? Indeed. Its exact coordinates are being uploaded to you now. Professor, you don't suppose that the Arbiter is where they're keeping Mag- Storm, I pray it is not. But you must proceed there immediately and stop the Brotherhood before they're able to achieve their goal. Don't worry, Professor. We'll stop them. Dead in their tracks. I have the utmost confidence you will, Wolverine. Good luck, X-Men. RBN World News. Our top story tonight, the attack on the USS Arbiter. Earlier today, a terrorist group known as the Brotherhood of Mutants boarded the Arbiter and forced their way into the lower decks. Once there, they released an electromagnetic burst that severely crippled the ship. Officials were quick to point out that even though the Arbiter sank, there was no loss of human life. This event gave General Kincaid more fuel for his anti-mutant sentiment. At a press conference, the General said that should things continue in this vein... Homo sapiens, we stand upon the edge of a brave new world, and evolution has found you lacking. I invite all mutants to congregate at the mount. Together we will force the Homo sapiens to make way for their true masters. 
Homo Superior. What's up, Professor? Cerebro has discovered the Brotherhood is on the move again, this time to a potentially catastrophic location. The Boshnoi nuclear plant in Siberia. Is Magneto with them? No, at least according to Cerebro. The Brotherhood has access to weapons-grade plutonium? This is most disconcerting. Agreed. Whatever they're up to, the consequences will be disastrous. The Brotherhood must be stopped, or you may very well have to contain a nuclear meltdown. Oh, dear God. They wouldn't. Oh, yes, they would, Storm. Without batting an eye. We must stop them. Right on, Syke. Let's go show the Brotherhood they're playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun. Very well, X-Men. Be on your way. There's no time to waste. I call this meeting to inform you that several of us will be taking a trip to the astral plane shortly. Several? But Charles, I only see you and Jean. I will be joining them. Cool! The White Queen is here! It figures they'd call in another super telepath to join the group. But what is the astral plane? It's a dimension of the mind. One where thoughts become reality. Why are you going to the astral plane, Professor? I'll let Moira answer that question. X-Men, I believe we've discovered the cause of Ileana's coma. You have? Tell me, Doctor, quickly! Her mind no longer inhabits her body, Colossus. We believe Ileana is on the astral plane. But she has no psychic powers. How can this be? I agree, Colossus. It is very strange indeed. And that is the reason Jean, Emma and I are going to investigate the astral plane. In my absence, Scott will be in charge, should any trouble arise. We must escape! This way! This way! Who's doing this? I pray it's not whom I suspect. <laughs> Quickly, that portal will take you to Ileana. We're not leaving without you, Professor! Don't be a fool, girl! We must escape! Get out! Show yourself, Shadow King. I know it's you. Hello, Xavier. I'm impressed you remember me. I'd never forget the true face of evil. <laughs> I have to give him credit. The brat Ileana served her purpose. Give who credit? Someone told you to kidnap Ileana? No one would dare give an order to Shadow King. I was advised that stealing the child would lure you into my world. And here you are. What do you intend to do now? I should have thought it obvious, Xavier. I will have my revenge. <laughs> Oh yeah, just five left! Wolverine! Cease all mutants. You see? Violence is all humanity has to offer us. Doesn't he ever shut up? Look! Objective secured. With Paul. Follow them! X-Men, no! 
We need to regroup. Okay, people. I managed to track Havoc and the Acolytes for a short time after they left the mansion. They weren't able to catch up with the Sentinels, so we have to assume Magneto is being held prisoner. Did you see where Havoc went once they lost Magneto's trail? Perhaps that would lead us to their headquarters. I tried, but at one point they just vanished. It was like they were there one moment, gone the next. But I, on the other hand, using the wonders of satellite technology, have determined the location of Asteroid M. You found it? Robert, after all this time, how can you doubt my technical prowess? Is that what Magneto was calling the Mount? We believe so. It's his home base, a space station built into the core of an asteroid that's magnetically suspended several miles above the Earth. From the scans I've run, it appears to be both psionically and magnetically shielded. Okay, so let's hop in the X-Jet, pop up there, and bust some skulls. Because of the magnetic shielding, no spacecraft, not even the X-Jet, would be able to get near Asteroid M. But how does the Brotherhood get there? The Morlocks. I beg your pardon? I heard the Morlocks talking just voting at me, and that space rock ain't the mount. Uh-uh. The mount's here on Earth. I bet that'd be the only way to transport to Magneto's base. Uh -huh. So what are we waiting for? Let's go pay the Morlocks a visit. We are standing on the edge of an abyss, and by God, our very existence depends on immediate, decisive action. There is no negotiating with the mutant blight. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you a way to eradicate it before they... <laughs> Silence, human! Your plans to destroy mutant kind will not come to fruition. This pitiful attempt failed, but it has sealed your fate. Let your followers know that it was you who set this war in motion, and let their anguished cries keep you warm in the, in the days, days to come. come. This isn't working out the way you promised. Don't be so naive, Havoc. How can we ever hope to live peacefully with a species that regards us as abominations? But using this Gravitron of yours is... is... is madness. Then let madness be the mother of change. No! I won't let you do this! <laughs> will they realize that we are not merely their equals. We are their superiors. And on the eighth day, I looked down upon creation and said, Let there be darkness. You set these events in motion the first time you laid hands on one of us. You have always looked down upon mutants, feared us, hated us. And now you shall reap what you have sown. The decision is yours. Will a new day dawn where my children will no longer hide in fear? Or will it be forever? RBN World News, I'm Deborah Owens. It's been two weeks since mutant leader Magneto began using his powers to encircle the Earth with asteroids. Currently, 90% of the Sun's energy is being blocked from our atmosphere. As a result, there has been a 20 degree drop in the world's median temperature. At the UN, world leaders spoke out today, denouncing Magneto as barbaric and calling for retaliatory action. 
In the U.S., the president stated that military forces have focused their attention on finding Magneto's base. Citizens of Earth, I am Magneto. I have three demands which must be met unconditionally. First, all anti-mutant programs are to be terminated immediately. Second, the island of Genosha in the Indian Ocean will be granted to me as a sovereign nation. Finally, General William Kincaid will be handed over to me for trial under mutant law. If my demands are met, the sun will shine again. If I am defied, the chill you feel now will become the endless winter of your discontent. The choice is yours. Listen up, everyone. Our time is up. We have to make our move now, or things are going to seriously deteriorate here on Earth. Beast, what's the status of the X-Jet upgrades? With Wolverine's assistance, I have fully integrated the equipment we liberated from the Sentinel factory. By all appearances, the X-Jet should be able to reach Asteroid M. But getting inside Magneto's base could prove to be another matter entirely. We'll cross that bridge once we get there. Gene, how's Professor X? He's weak, but he's fine. He just needs a few days of rest. I'm sure the Professor's not going to be happy about being left out on this next mission. But we have no choice. Our number one priority is to reach Asteroid M and capture Magneto. Then we have to figure out a way to remove the asteroid shield from around the Earth. Summers, you make it sound almost easy. We all know it's going to be far from easy, Wolverine. But it's got to be done. The world is depending on us. Any questions? Okay, let's move out. is finally complete. Once Asteroid M obliterates New York City, humans will blame mutants and eradicate them from the face of the Earth. A cause I'm willing to die for! Kid, the Gravitron was built for Magneto. It could kill you. That's a chance I'll have to take. Time to heat things up. Whatever you're doing, it's working! Wait! 
Hey, what's to worry? I'm an X-Man, remember? Quite right. An exemplary job, Allison. In stopping Asteroid Inn, you not only saved New York City, but you prevented a war. A war that would have cost countless lives. Your unwavering courage in the face of overwhelming odds has proven that you truly are an X-Man. For X-Men are the stuff of legend. Enjoy your small victory, Xavier. For the age of apocalypse is nigh. <laughs> Welcome to RBN World News. I'm Deborah Owens. The mutant leader Magneto is still at large, but his long silence has led many to speculate he has discontinued all terrorist activities. In New York, cleanup is almost complete after the damage caused by Asteroid M's plunge to Earth. Surveys show that many New Yorkers attribute the rescue of Manhattan to a mutant group known as the X-Men. This is largely due to security tapes leaked to the media, showing the heroic efforts of the X-Men on Asteroid M. The X-Men also exposed illegal experimentation on humans at a Sentinel factory in Europe. This resulted in a shutdown of the factory and an inquiry into Operation Vigilance, which financed the covert activity. General William Kincaid head of Operation Vigilance, is now in custody and awaiting trial for crimes against humanity. While in New York, the president blasted Operation Vigilance and commented, if we are to move forward as a culture, we must learn to understand one another, human and mutant alike. The president closed his speech by commending the X-Men's efforts. I'm Deborah Owens for RVN World News. Have a pleasant evening.